Hey, it's Angelo. I'm going to show you how to find a unit to start your rental arbitrage business. It's super duper simple. In case you didn't know what rental arbitrage is, is basically you rent a property for a certain amount of price and then you re-rent it back out for a higher price, right? That's all there is to it. Super simple business model. All right. So for example, if you're a landlord and I say, Hey, I'm going to pay you a thousand bucks in rent. Do you want that? And you're like, yeah, of course, I'm a landlord. That's what I do, I collect rent. So I pay you a thousand bucks a month in rent and I put a bunch of furniture in and I re-rent it out you know, on Airbnb, Craigslist, whatever it may be as a furnished rental. And then now, I, let's say I charge someone 2,000 bucks a month for it. And so now my spread is roughly $2,000 uh, collected minus the $1,000 I'm giving you as a landlord, right? So that's all. Uh, rental arbitrages, some places like in Europe, they call it rent to rent. Um, but you know, all, all, all this means the same thing. It's just you, you rent it and you sublet it back out at a higher price. So this is a great way to get, you know, and collect rental income without having to fork out tens or hundreds of thousands of dollars in down payment. And I know a lot of you out there starting out, you know, it's kind of like a chicken and an egg thing. Well, if I don't have any money, how do I invest? And if I don't invest, how do I have any money, right? So this is a great way to just start uh, to collect rental income. Now, a lot of gurus are going to tell you this Airbnb automated, Airbnb passive income, you know, at the beginning stages, it's definitely not going to be passive and it's going to be a lot of work, even if it's simple. So any guru that's trying to tell you how passive it is or like how great it is or whatever, um, I'm here to give you the real shit. <laughs> it's not going to be like that. Uh, it's really not going to be passive. Um, so any guru that's trying to tell you how to be passive, you know, watch out. They're probably just trying to sell you a course. All right. So without further ado, I'm going to show you the exact process I use to find a product that I can pay money to rent out and then sublet it at a higher price. All right. And how I go about doing that is smashing that like button, smashing that subscribe button. So this is how I find a unit. Um, so I go on this website. It's called Hot Pads, and I. It's nice because it's got this nice layout of you know all these houses for rent. You can you know set filters on it. You know you can look at stuff for one bedroom, two bedroom, whatever it may be. And all I do, I don't really like cold calling. A lot of people like cold calling. Uh, all I do is I go ahead and I send them a message. Um, and as I send them a message, uh, you know, once you send the first message, I like hot pads because once you send them the first message, um, all the subsequent messages are in the same format. So you just click two buttons and every two buttons you click, you are essentially talking to a new landlord. Cold calls, you're going to have to answer a lot of objections, you know, all that bullshit. Uh, you're going to hit a lot of landlords that are just not interested and making a hundred cold calls is going to take a much longer time than going on hot pads. Also, I like hot pads over Craigslist because of the fact that Craigslist, um, you have to actually have your email. And uh, whereas this one, you give them your email, but you know, hot pad sends the email. So, so it's, it's just a lot less button clicks. You don't have to have a, a Gmail browser open, click reply, click copy, and then paste and then paste in your template, right? This is just like a two click solution super effective. I'm a huge believer in the 820 principle and hot pads is the fastest way to contact as many, many landlords as much as possible. Now, the only thing about hot pads that isn't so good is that you have a much shorter um, text window. So you can't just put in a whole like spiel about what your company is and what you do. So uh, you, you do have to keep it short. That's kind of the main disadvantage of hot pads. All right, but because it's so fast, you can just contact like 50 landlords in like 20 minutes easily. Whereas if you cold call up Craigslist, it's gonna take you at least a few hours. All right, so let's take a look at some results. Uh, super ironic because this one's actually from Craigslist after I just went off and off uh, about hot pads being way better than Craigslist. And it is, we still get a lot of leads from hot pads, but um, you know, definitely don't let that just stop you from using other platforms like Craigslist and cold calling, things like that. Um, I personally just like hot pads and other online stuff, sometimes Craigslist. So this is kind of one of those exception rule situations where someone from Craigslist responded. All right. So the opening email, I just asked them um, if they would let us do corporate rentals and they're pretty okay with it. And then I say, Hey, um, you know, they would ask for some information 
Hey, I would like to know what company you work for. So I gave them our website and um, having LLC and a website is crucial if you're going to be contacting landlords. A lot of landlords just don't want to, especially in um, a place where it's more of a seller's market. They don't want to just give it to any tenant, right? So you do want to build up some street reps and I'll make future videos on that, on how to build up some street reps uh, to be able to run your business, right? So I just give them our website. Um, feel free to visit it and book. <laughs> if you're staying in the Bay Area um, and kind of giving them some information about what we do right and then they're like alright sounds good would you would anyone be available to view the apartment uh, Saturday 6 p.m. I can have a lot show you the place um, so yeah uh, I met her, uh, the landlord um, on Saturday uh, that day and we locked down the unit uh, on Tuesday and this one was actually with investor money and they're paying the rent currently um, so we are not on the hook at all that's a whole nother video but i just kind of want to show you guys how possible and how freaking easy this is you literally just go online copy paste a bunch of messages to a bunch of landlords go view the property just pitch them you know you sign the lease you shove it on airbnb and you're done the hardest part of this whole thing is probably furnishing the two bedroom one bat bathroom so I can make another video on that in the future if you'd like. So if you like this video, please like and subscribe. There's a ton more content coming.